In the world of cancer research, Lewis Cantley is a rock star. Five years ago, the Cornell University professor was chosen to head a scientific dream team, a group of America's top cancer specialists brought together to supercharge the search for a cure. His findings may not be embraced by everyone, but in the cancer world, when Cantley talks, people listen. Let me ask then, do you believe that sugar consumption causes cancer? I think, yes, I think that uh, eating too much sugar can definitely increase the probability of cancer and also make the outcome of people who already have cancer uh, out worse. So how? Well, let's review what sugar's made of, one molecule glucose and one fructose. We know that when there's too much fructose in the liver, it sets off a chain reaction. The pancreas produces more insulin. What Cantley now believes is that excess insulin changes cancer tumors, telling them to gobble up the glucose. What we're now learning is that some of the cancers, particularly those cancers that correlate with obesity and diabetes, often have insulin receptor on the cancer cell. The tumor, by expressing the insulin receptor, tricks the glucose into going into the tumor rather than the muscle and fat. And as a consequence, the tumor can use that glucose as a fuel to grow.